Now, social proof used to be a powerful effector, but when you multiply it by social media, it becomes enough to divert an entire society. And that's what they're good at. They're good at making people who disagree with them look and act as if they're evil. That's what political correctness is. We're not going to talk to you. You're a racist. That's what cancel culture is. We don't like what you do or what you say, so we're going to eliminate you. We don't want you visible because your visibility is destroying this gaslighting effort of social proof that we're doing. And now you know why there's such a thing as a limousine liberal. People who call for higher taxes then tell their accountants to lower their taxes. People who make large donations to Black Lives Matter and then are astonished when riots come to their town and, and destroy their houses or their shops. And the universal response is, wait, no, no, no. I'm one of the good ones. Remember on 9-11? 20 years ago, shortly after, when Michael Moore basically said, why are you attacking New York? We're the ones that are liberals. We're on your side. You should be attacking the conservatives. Michael Moore doesn't know much about jihadis or their motivation, but he doesn't know much about anything. So you get the point, right? You've got a people here who have bought into a collective delusion. And that collective delusion is we all agree that wealth distribution is fantastic. We all agree on all of these things. And if you don't agree, then you're an evil person. And not only are you an evil person, but none of your friends should have anything to do with you ever again. So on one hand, they have what they think they should be. And on the other hand, they have what they want to do. And these things are contradictory for them and they're not for us. And that's why we're going to win. I just want to be completely clear about this because this is the entire point. We're not going to win because of the hypocrisy that is visible when you see things like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wearing a tax the rich gown to attend a $30,000 event. It's not the hypocrisy. It's much simpler than that. The people who are the champions of this idea don't believe in the idea. Because Gavin Newsom is such a big fan of the show, I thought I would do the job of the press corps that's been gone for quite a long time. And I really just have one question for Governor Newsom, really just, just one question, Governor. The day after the recall election failed, Gavin Newsom issued a proclamation, a dictate you might call it, saying that Los Angeles County in October was going to require vaccine passports. In other words, you couldn't go to a restaurant, a bar, any kind of public gathering, nowhere, unless you could provide proof of vaccination. So my just one question, Governor, is, is pretty simple, really. If this is, as you claim, an absolutely necessary health measure in order to save lives here in Los Angeles County, then why didn't you implement it seven weeks ago? You may not be happy with the pace of vaccinations, but I think we can all agree that nobody's getting unvaccinated. So the problem was worse seven weeks ago than it is now, clearly. So why didn't you put this proclamation in place seven weeks ago? Because you announced it within 24 hours of surviving your recall election. And I just find that timing to be remarkably convenient. So here's the actual question, Governor, because it seems to me it's one of these two things. Either this vaccine passport mandate is so critically important to the health of the citizens of Los Angeles, all of the disruption, all of, all of that, is outweighed by the number of lives that we will save if we implement this vaccine passport in October. And if it is that important and saves so many lives, then why didn't you do it seven weeks ago? Because you didn't, and that means that for the last seven weeks and for the next two or three as well, people are gonna be dying needlessly because there's no vaccine passport here in Los Angeles County. That's one possibility. There is, however, a second possibility, and it's one that completely frees you from any responsibility of all the lives that were lost during the seven weeks that you didn't enforce this uh, absolutely necessary uh, vaccine passport mandate. And that second explanation is, is that this mandate doesn't make any difference whatsoever, it has no effect whatsoever on the survival rates of people here in Los Angeles County. Now that gets you off the hook for all the people who you could have saved, but it does bring up another question and that is, if it wasn't necessary then, why do we need it now?